Let's begin with this dim crim who's trying to break into a bar. He starts by throwing a beer barrel at the door. Now, if you look closely, the door is actually unlocked. But thankfully for us, he hasn't noticed that and continues to make his life much harder than it needs to be. And it's only when he gets through the hole he's made that he realises his mistake. Absolutely textbook. Theft is one of the most common crimes in the world, and you'd probably think that, just like in the movies, most heists are carefully planned. Well, my law-abiding chums, you would be wrong, as these bungling burglars prove. This rascal is attempting a break-in, so he starts by breaking the glass. But because he's not the brightest burglar, he's forgotten about the alarm, so he makes a hasty retreat. Or maybe not so hasty. The next wannabe robber has come up with a cunning disguise. A palm tree. $50. However, he looks so ridiculous that his demands for $50 are completely ignored. Right now. $50. I'm not entirely sure he's real or just a plant. <laughs> anyway, not long before he's escorted out. Ow, 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 ow. Goodbye. Our next example of why crime doesn't pay, the fella in this clip. He doesn't know that cash registers are plugged into the wall. Although he does now. He also realises that he's made a mistake and promises to never do it again. And this light-fingered felon's target is attached to the wall too. And once again, he doesn't know. Much to his annoyance. When it comes to bungling burglars, you don't get better than the next one. He plans to rob a bottle shop. That's American for off-licence, in case you didn't know. He starts by trying to get on the roof and fails. So he has another go and fails again. Having finally made it up, he has a cunning way to get in that will leave absolutely no evidence... Oh. Once he's recovered, he continues his one-man crime wave by stealing lottery tickets and then cigarettes, which he's about to prove are really bad for your health. Loaded with loot, it's time to escape, so armed with a ladder, he does just that. Or not. He has another go, with even more spectacular results. With absolutely nothing going to plan, he tries to save his embarrassment by disabling the security camera. And makes a mess of that too. Thinking on his feet, he spots another escape route, the door, and tries to prise it open with a trolley. But because this is the most inept intruder in history, that obviously doesn't work either. So eventually, he just gives up, sits down, and waits for the police, who soon arrive to tell him off and put him out of his misery. And I don't think he's going to be getting a part in Ocean's 14 or whatever number they're up to these days. 